Last week I showed you how to create a slimy text effect in Adobe Illustrator, so I thought I'd cover a similar topic this week but in Photoshop instead. The Vector Illustrator artwork is quite flat, whereas you can achieve much more realism with gradients and filters in Photoshop. The effect we'll producing in this tutorial is a glossy text effect made out of some kind of gooey substance. It's made by combining a cocktail of built-in layer styles, so let's get started and I'll show you how it's done. Begin by creating a new document in Adobe Photoshop. I'm using a size of 3000 by 1700 pixels. Use the Alt and Backspace shortcut to fill the canvas with black. Just like the previous tutorial, I'll be using a script font as the basis for my text effect, but you could use your own custom type. The font I'm using here is a premium typeface named Number 7 Black. The great thing about premium typefaces like this is they're packed with stylistic alternate characters that allow you to fully customise the appearance. I'll leave a link in the description if you fancy checking it out for yourself, and if you're watching this tutorial right after it went live, there's currently a 90% off fonts bundle on offer at Design Cuts if you want to upgrade your font library with some pro-grade typefaces while saving a small fortune. Once you have your type in place, right click on the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Next, head to Filter, Noise and Median. Choose a value that's high enough to round off all the corners, but not so much that it ends up adding blurry bits. 20 pixels worked for me. To customise the effect further, go to Filter and Liquify. You can use the Liquify tool to both warp the outline of the text slightly and to add some drips. Alter the brush size with the square bracket keys and click and drag to affect the artwork. To bring the effect to life, we need to add a cocktail of layer styles. Double click the layer and begin with a gradient overlay. The preset I'm using is actually from my free collection of duo tone gradients, but the colours are an orange of FB4732 to a yellow of FEE949. Next, apply an inner glow to add some depth to the text. Change the settings to multiply and black, then adjust the size to around 60 pixels and the opacity to 30%. Add an inner shadow next, using the settings overlay, black, 120 degrees, then 45 pixel distance, zero choke and 80 pixel size. Add a bevel and emboss effect next, then start editing the settings from the bottom up by changing the shadows to overlay at 20% and highlights to color dodge at 80%. Click the little arrow to open the contour settings, then open the contour profiles from the little settings icon. Append them to your existing list. Scroll down and choose the profile with the two thin peaks, the third one along in the grid. You can always come back and experiment with the other profiles too. Check the anti-alias option to ensure there's no jagged lines. Uncheck the use global light option in order to set custom shading, then add 120 degrees angle and 60 degrees altitude. Play around with the size and depth sliders to find a cool looking spread of highlights. I used a depth of 365 and a size of 70 in my example, with a 1 pixel softener to take the edge off the highlights. Click on the contour submenu under bevel and emboss and change this profile to the S bend shape. Apply the anti aliased effect and reduce the range to 40%. The basic glossy text effect is complete, but we can add some more details by simply overlaying a photograph of raindrops on a window. Find a free image like this from unsplash.com. Select all, copy and paste it into the main document. Press Command and T to transform and scale the image down to fit over the text. Change the blending mode to Color Dodge, then reduce the fill amount in the layers panel to around 40%. Apply a sharpen filter to bring out the details, then go to Filter, Noise and Add Noise. Configure the settings to 20%, Uniform and Monochromatic. This photo overlay helps add those subtle drops that look a little like bubbles within this yellow ooze. You can experiment with other image overlays to see what other effects you can produce too. Hold the command key and click on the text layer's thumbnail to load its selection, then add a layer mask to the photo layer to clip it to size. To add some more finishing touches, select the background layer and hit command and L to open the levels. Move the output slider slightly to brighten the black background to a dark grey. Add a drop shadow effect to the text using values of around 30 pixel distance and a 50 pixel size. Deselect the Use Global Light option to set the shadow to 90 degrees underneath the text. 
Finally, add a new layer above the background and set up a large soft brush with a white foreground colour. Dab a couple of spots underneath the text, then set the opacity to a really low value like 8% to leave a subtle glow in the centre of the canvas. The final result is a cool glossy text effect that could be used to represent all kinds of viscous fluids, depending on the colour scheme you choose. The subtle shading helps add some depth to the text, while the bevel and embossed layer style does a great job of simulating the reflections. So hope you find this tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stick around for all my upcoming tutorials. Head over to my Spoon Graphics website to grab my free bundle of design resources. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.